So today, guys, I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that I think a lot of you guys should take advantage of and do while you can. Because if you guys don't know, if you guys haven't heard, in year five, season one, they are doing a revamp of XP. So the way you get XP uh, from different control points to different missions, things are going to change a little bit. And the biggest change that you'll see is how much XP you can get from resource convoys. If you guys know right now, resource convoys are the number one legit way to get XP. And that XP is for your shade level, so it levels you up. Obviously, if you guys are doing your seasonal pass, it helps level that up too. It's just typically the fast way and the go-to way to get extra XP very fast. And if you guys don't know, the reason why it's so good is because you can complete these in about one minute. And all you have to do is look at your map, look for these little convoy symbols. And a lot of times you can just fast travel to that point, um, the closest point, and then once you fast travel there, you can do them. Now, the reason why resource convoys are so cool is because you have your initial enemies, which is like, I wanna say about four, four to five guys. And then after that, you'll get two waves. This is talking about normal resource convoys. And then the cool thing about it is they'll either come through a manhole cover, the back of a truck, um, a doorway. But as you guys see here, we actually have one in front of us, right? So we do this initially. I personally like running a status effect build. I'll show you a quick rundown of it at the end of this video, but I'll put a link to the build that I use for this. And then you just have to find the door that they come out. The more you do these, the more you'll know exactly where they spawn from. And then when you know where they spawn from, you can just aim your status right at the door. Boom, catch one guy on fire. He's gonna end up spreading that fire to the next guy. You remember, like I said, if you're doing regular convoys, it's usually two waves and elite i can't remember exactly maybe four waves um but yeah you get you definitely get more so these they give you a little bit more xp but yeah these right here are amazing because look look how fast that was we already completed it and then i just go over it and remember you want to look at the top of your xp bar at the very top not the one that shows in front of you because i know the one in front of you shows you one number but the very top number says five hundred eighty-six thousand, and that's because i have four directives but if you guys don't know, you guys can actually get a total of 659,000 if you have five directives. But the thing you have to keep in mind is when they do the change, if you have five directives in season one, right? This was all from the PTS. It's only 246,000. So think about it. Even with me only running four directives, getting 586,000, it's gonna go down to 246,000 with five directives. So yeah, a big change on how you get XP. They did buff other activities to like balance out what gives you XP, what gives you more XP. So that's just something you really have to keep in mind. While yes, convoys are getting a nerf, some of the other activities will give you a little bit more XP. So, well, you don't have to do the same thing over and over and over which I think is a good thing, right? I honestly don't think there should just be one that gives you so much more XP that you just wanna do this way, right? Yes, while it's fun, while it's good, I actually like that they finally, they're adding more XP to other activities because just doing these over and over get boring. While they are fast and it's a ton of XP, it would be nice to actually farm some other things and get some really good XP too. So. Definitely the way they changed year five was to have more activities, give you more XP so you can um, do other things. So when year five fully launches, we'll get to see exactly the amount of XP they give us because I know they're gonna take player feedback, people who've talked about it in the past. Maybe you actually get more XP, but currently the way they set it up is that if you guys are doing five directives, on heroic difficulty, your max XP you could get was 246,000. And obviously you're getting 659,000 with five directives. Now, obviously you guys know I don't run five directives. I only run four directives because I don't, I'm don't. i running two skills. So I don't want one of the directives to mess up my skills to be able to do this fast and efficient. And as you see here, you just go to global difficulty, make it on the, the hardest difficulty. And then you wanna go, go um, you want to go to directives and then make sure you have all of them except scavenge skills because scavenge skills is really going to mess with you running skills on this build. So that's what I typically do. And you get about 586,000. Now, what I will say is if you haven't finished this current season, this is going to be the fastest way to get those levels. You can do this on 
any shade level. So I actually have a character that has 208, maybe almost 250 shade level, and I'm able to do this. The reason being is because this, there's nothing really giving you any benefit for the status effects on your watch. So you don't have to know that. Yes, there's one that gives you skill damage, so obviously it would help out with the striker drone, but you don't need that because everything is all done with the fire. The striker drone is just to help take down those enemies a little bit faster. So if you've been looking to level up your shade level before year five and find a very fast and efficient way, this is going to be it. And I don't think there's gonna be anything in year five that gives you this much, of, this much XP in this short amount of time. So that's another reason why you wanna really, if you wanna grab some extra XP before the new season comes out, this might be a perfect time for you guys to do that because you you know if you can get a lot of xp now you don't have to worry about it when year five comes out right so for you new returning players hey this could be something for you guys to do alongside whatever you're doing um to get xp at the moment but this is definitely still the fastest way until i think year five should be dropping mid-june so i think if we look at the seasonal timeline it's saying about five weeks right now the build is using the technician specialization for the extra skill damage. Um, and we're just running a four piece Eclipse with the Golden Gear holster and the Vio mask. Now for the weapons, it doesn't matter because we're using the pistol directive. So the Vio mask, you're gonna want skill haste on it for the mod, for the clips, status effects on everything with the skill haste mod where you can, you want that on the chest. For the Golden Gear piece, you can run one armor because you have the skill tier, the tier one from your technician class and then you're just going to have skill tier status effects on all of your eclipse build and then skill haste mod on all of your mod pieces now i will put a link to this so if you want to see a slower breakdown of this you guys saw i was running the striker drone the chem launcher and then you're just going to put a burn strength mod and plus one ammo but yeah this was a quick rundown of this build like i said the weapons don't matter because you are running that pistol directive and you won't have ammo for them. But highly recommend if you're new and you're returning, enjoy this method while you can get that extra XP, maybe maybe do it. I, I wouldn't say burn yourself out doing it because you will get burned out just running convoys. But if you're trying to maybe get an additional 50, 20 shade levels, hey, this could be an easy way for you guys to do it. As you guys can get about one level almost one level every minute or so and then about 30 seconds the fast travel to a convoy now when you do reset the directives i will tell you um sometimes it takes a second for the convoys to start going so just go hang out uh, maybe do another activity maybe do a mission and then when you come out of the mission everything should work obviously if you have four directives it might be tough so maybe doing an activity will be better but just wait a little bit um and you'll start to see the convoys pick up and when they do you usually have a bunch on the map so just a little tip for you guys who do reset it and don't see your convoys but like i said this right here is one of if not the best way still in the game to get xp so enjoy it while you can and then hopefully um, we'll figure out another way to get really good XP in year five. All right, guys, we're going to wrap it up here. A, appreciate the support, appreciate the love. See you guys in the next one. A, nothing but skills out.